AJ lands a forearm to Ciampa on the floor as Miz hobbles up the ramp, leaving Ciampa and ending this segment. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Um. I, I have mean, nothing to say. It was just to me, it was a long amount of television time for nothing all that engaging. So at this point, like with most WWE TV matches, I recognize like there's a certain standard of action that like I think is I think is that you could at least say is decent. OK, and I suppose that depends on like what you're comparing it to. Maybe I'm like in my <laughs> for me now, I'm comparing it to the history of professional wrestling of all the wrestling that I've seen. The standard that we're at right now, I think, is at least better than the average that I've I've seen throughout my lifetime, which includes like like re, re, like generic like re, TV wrestling from the '90s. This was better than that in ring, but it's just it's just not memorable at all, and um, for no stakes, it's really just kind of action for the sake of action. Um, and I think at this point, most people need a bit more than that you know, to keep their attention. So, um, I don't know. Maybe some people are still enamored just by like, imagine if like, you know, we're, we're watching F1, John, you and I, and there's, they're, they're racing for no reason. There's no points involved. There's no points this week. Guys. (laughs) Yeah. They're just, they want to just, you know, go for a drive. Like once a month on a, a, a streaming service that you have to pay extra for, you get to watch the races that actually have points attached to them. The rest of the time for five hours a week, you're just going to get races where they're going around in circles. You might not even necessarily get a finish line. OK, sometimes it's just the track. They're just like going around in circles and um, no strategy, like nothing. It's just you know, they're racing and mm-hmm. You might really, some of us might really like just, you know, oh, oh, look at the engine. Look at the wheels go. This is really impressive. Look, oh, look at how he's turning the corner. That's really impressive. But I would say the vast majority of people would not give a shit. And that's what you have most of the time when you're watching WWE TV. These matches are meaningless. And only if you really like the, I just the, the action, (laughs) speaking of action, you know, just of like people doing moves, then you might be entertained. Let me go a step further and your hypothetical race, that means nothing. No points are at stake, but you still sit down and you watch it way. And on lap 58 of 65, someone runs out onto the track and they just wave it off. They're like, the race is over. Like, you're not even going to give me a winner for the pointless race. No, it's just, it's over. We'll, we'll do this again sometime. Okay, Someone see, ran on. There's a DQ. Hold on a second. Well, see, because, because that happens so rarely, I, it would be news. Like, it would actually be a, somewhat of a, you know, significant moment. But imagine if that happened, like, every other race <laughs> you know like you might watch a race and then somebody will just oh my run god out there. dude someone's gonna win this race i think so <laughs> nope 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 they threw it out or like max verstappen's theme song plays and like all of a sudden everyone like stops their car yeah. and they've just got to turn their head and be mesmerized by the sound yeah. of max verstappen's odd playlist <laughs> on spotify <laughs> And then, yeah, it could be DQ. These race, <laughs> these drivers are idiots. Why are they stopping? <laughs> they were going at such a high rate of speed, and now everyone has stopped. So anyway, that, that was this. That was this match. <laughs> 